because it's my birthday. That's right. It is your birthday. For her birthday, we have left the Bay Area and we are now in uh, Murphy's, California, historic Murphy's, California. It's actually close to Sierra Nevada mountain range. Oh, there's a big bee flying right there oh, hovering above oh. the ground. Weird. Ooh. Sorry. That's the second time in a vlog this year that I've gotten Squirrels, sidetracked by bees. an animal. <laughs> Murphy's is actually known for its wineries, which is surprising because grapes don't usually grow well when it freezes and I think it gets pretty cold up here. There's a lot of wineries. There's actually a wine festival in Murphy's this weekend. So we've got a lot on the plate for Abigail's birthday. We're going to right now go check out Mercer Caverns and then we're going to maybe go to Moaning Caverns in this uh, natural bridge. It's a Calaveras natural bridge. Do some wine tasting and check out some redwoods. So come explore Murphy's California for Abigail's birthday. Yay. Tours of Mercer Caverns have been running since the late 1800s. In 1885, Mr. Mercer was eating lunch after a day of unfruitful gold mining when he noticed this one tree had a lot more foliage around it than the other trees in the area. As he got closer to the tree, he saw a small hole that had air coming out of it. So he took his gold pick and started chipping away at the hole until it was big enough for him to fit his body into. He took his rope, tied it around a tree that's still standing there at Mercer Caverns today, lowered himself into the hole. When he got down there, he realized it was a huge cavern, and he thought he had found a gold mine, because the rocks in the caverns had this sort of glimmer and shimmering effect. So he went back into town, he claimed the land for a whopping one dollar. He later went back to the hole with the geologist to confirm his gold mine, and that's when he found out that the cave is actually made of limestone. So instead of stopping the exploration of his new cave, he began operating tours out of the caves and charging people gold flakes or gold dust for the admission. It's a very interesting story and the tour is actually really well done. You go down 16 stories into the caverns. It's all lit by electricity now, but when Mr. Mercer was doing the tours, it was all done by candles. They actually turn off the lights at one point and show you just how dark the caves can get. Well, my viewers, that was the Mercer Caverns. Pretty cool. Yeah, I liked them a lot. Very interesting story of Mr. Mercer and how he found them, which you heard over that uh, voice over there. We are now at the Calaveras Natural Bridge. It's about a little under a mile hike in. It's a natural bridge, like I just mentioned in the name. Um, it's actually pretty close to Moaning Caverns, which is another set of caverns in this area. Apparently there's lots of caverns near Murphy's. So we're gonna hike into there, check out this natural bridge. Apparently you can actually float through it. There's a lot of photos online of people like tubing through it or kayaking through it. We're not doing that. We didn't come prepared for that, but maybe in the future we will. So let's go check out Calaveras Natural Bridge. All right, well, love viewers, we are now at Ironstone Vineyards. So you can see, kind of see, it's a huge, sorry, I'll hit you in the face. It's a huge building. They actually have a huge amphitheater here too that they have some pretty big acts come to. Had like Carrie Underwood right before Carrie Underwood got big. She was here. Jason Mraz. They train. Train. So they've got some pretty big names that come here, which is surprising since it's kind of a ways out from, you know, like a major airport. But the vineyard's huge. They do like, they've done over a million cases, which is a lot of wine. Uh, but now they say they do like around 600,000 cases and they actually own another facility in Lodi, which is for people who drink wine. That's a popular area for Zinfandel because it gets very hot during the day. Um, but what's cool about this place and what I'm excited to see two things. One, there's this huge gold piece. It's actually the largest gold piece in the United States and probably the world. They have it here. Apparently there's been some museums, <clears throat> some popular museums that have requested or to buy this piece. One of them is the Louvre in Paris, but they won't sell it. So we're going to see that here. And the other cool thing that I'm excited to see, they have underground cellars where they keep wine at. We're at Ironstone Vineyards. We're going to do a tasting. We're going to check out the gold. We're going to check out the caves and then we'll see where else, where else the day takes us. Let's go. If you ever make it to Murphy's, California, I highly recommend Ironstone Vineyards. 
even if you don't drink wine, it's just a really cool property. It's very big. Like I said, it has an amphitheater where they have concerts at in the summer. Got a really cool underground cave where they store the wine. Beautiful water feature inside the cave, which we found out is to help control the humidity in the caves for the aging process of the wines. Right next to the tasting room at Ironstone is a museum. Now, I spoke about the gold piece, which you see here. That's obviously the main attraction at the Ironstone Vineyards and inside this museum. But one of the cool things about this museum is it highlights a lot of the other stuff that's happened in the Murphys area and really Calaveras County. It's a pretty well-known area, which I didn't know before I went there, but it was very popular during the gold rush, obviously. A lot of California is popular then, but Calaveras County is actually, and I'll speak a little bit more about this at the end of the video, is where Mark Twain wrote one of his most popular books. So Twain is a very popular figure in the Calaveras County area. Murphy's the town itself is a really fun and cute little town, very small, so very easily easy to walk around the town. Surprisingly, most of the storefronts in Murphy's are wineries, not specifically the vineyards themselves, but it's more tasting rooms, tons of wineries. I think there's like over 25 tasting rooms in Murphy's, so definitely a wine town, lots of little shops to, to go into if you're into shopping, and a really great number of restaurants as well. That's it. It's gonna wrap up our trip here to Murphy's. We were planning to go to Big Tree Cal or Calaveras Big Tree State Park, but it snowed this morning. I just don't don't think it's gonna make the make the cut. We'll have to go back there sometime. But one story we did find out about Murphy's, which is very interesting, is that apparently this is where Mark Twain used to hang out, and he wrote the book *The Jumping Frog of Calaveras County*, which was the book that I guess like sort of jump started Mark Twain's writing career. So Mark Twain from Calaveras, I don't know if he's from Calaveras County, but he spent a lot of time here. He used to live in a shack up on Jackass Hill, which is actually a little south of here in a town called Copperopolis. This all sounds like something that comes out of a book, but they're all real names. So Mark Twain, fun fact, fun Twain facts. That's what we do here at the vlog. We just bring you fun Mark Twain facts. That's going to do it. What was your favorite part of Murphy's? Mm, I don't know. There's like at least 25 wineries here. I, I like some of them, some of them not so much, but we didn't get to even go to them all. Yeah, I think you went to enough yesterday. Did you have a good birthday? I had a good birthday. Good. My favorite part was probably Ironstone Vineyards. I love the wine caves. The town of Murphy's is pretty cute. It's just kind of a fun place to be. Yeah. But that's going to do it. This is the Will Vlog. I'm Willard Jackson. This is Abigail Teddy Roosevelt Harris. This is the Will Vlog. You're welcome. And we'll see you next time. Shh.